This is not for the weak. You know, you guys seem to really like the Chevy Cobalt SS, so I decided to step things up and get a crazy Chevy Cobalt SS. So this here is ZZ Performance's Snowbolt. The first Cobalt SS I drove made 300 wheel horsepower. This one makes double that. This makes about 600 wheel horsepower in a Chevy Cobalt. So let's see what that's like, because I don't really know what to expect. Oh, it's like that. <laughs> Big boy fuel pump. Pretty much everything you can do to a Cobalt SS is done to Snowbolt. You can, like, it's all there. So before we get started, quick rundown of the Chevy Cobalt SS. It's a front wheel drive American tuner car that was kind of a response to the Dodge Neon SRT4. And also this was very much a crazy era for Chevy. They got really experimental and threw darts at a board and just kind of saw what worked. We're talking the Trailblazer SS. We're talking about the Cobalt SS. We're talking about the Saturn Ion Redline. Talking about the HHR SS. The Impala SS that was front wheel drive the V8. Just a ton of weird cars in this era. But the Cobalt SS had the supercharged version, which was also the Saturn Ion Redline. And then they had the turbocharged version. The reason they went to turbo is because GM's contract with Eaton Superchargers expired. So instead of it being like, oh, turbo is the obvious option to go next, it was because they ran out of superchargers. So they had to find a different solution. All in all, the last Chevy Cobalt SS I drove actually made around 300 something horsepower with ZZP bolt-ons. And it was a ton of fun. And I drove it in the rain and that was a little sketchy. But believe it or not, the Chevy Cobalt SS, if you did not know, at the time, was the fastest front wheel drive car in production. It did an eight minute something Nürburgring time, which is pretty spectacular for back then. I think the SRT4 had more of like a cool factor, and that's why a lot of people overlook the Cobalt SS, because the Cobalt was just an economy car, just like the Neon, but for some reason that SRT4 got a little bit different of a legacy. And I think that's really sad because the Cobalt SS as a tuner platform is pretty freaking good. It's pretty freaking good. Example A, <laughs> it has a Sidewinder setup on it. What that means is it takes the rear mount turbo setup from the factory, it makes it more of a front turbo setup. And it just looks so much better in the engine bay. You can see everything, how it works. The big single turbo just looks so menacing. The livery on this car really suits Snowbolt. I really like the ZZP wrap on this. By the way, is it livery or livery? I can never get it right, so put it in the comment section below. But one of my favorite things about this, aesthetically, is the aero. The aerodynamics on this car are completely functional. The diffuser on the back, he actually has an Ings front bumper, which is something I didn't even know was a thing. taillights, which adds a very aggressive look to the rear end of this car. Functional APR wing on the back, big diffuser. This also runs ZZP suspension as well, and the car sits literally perfect. It has a really low aggressive stance while also being completely functional. I haven't bottomed out a single time driving this today, as long as you angle it, right? Just don't be stupid. We also have a personal wheel, which honestly, the factory Cobalt SS wheel, I think is a really good steering wheel because you know, it's the same one they use in the C6 Corvette. This car is used for time attack, so it makes sense to have this kind of steering wheel. Also, we have a suede dash, suede door cards, kind of adds a little bit more luxury or race car, rally race car, if you know what I mean. This also has the six speed manual transmission in the Cobalt SS and the ratios are just a little different. It feels a little bit different, it's nice. Also got Recaro seats that are nice and snug 
and the Recaros have sliders, so shorter people like me can actually drive the car. Because <laughs> a lot of the times when I do car reviews and fix bucket seats, I need to like make something work, like put a pad behind me or a hoodie behind me or something. My personal favorite was a pillow. But the sound this thing makes is super interesting. Does that not scream 2000s tuner car? At the same time, the Ecotec engine is so underrated as a four-cylinder platform. Not to mention, it has a much deeper tone than most four-cylinders. Speaking of like Hondas, you know, they can have that really raspy note behind them if they're not turbocharged especially. This thing has a nice deep throaty tone. <laughs> The supercharged Cobalt SS and Saturn Ion Redline, they're much more linear, right? They have this very predictable power band. The turbocharged ones are just a different animal altogether. ZZP has gotten this motor up to 900 wheel horsepower before. <laughs> I just love the sound off of the trees. God bless you, Cobalt. Third, it ramps in super, super hard. Torque steer. <laughs> I started moving. We have what I like to call tasteful burbles, not annoying burbles. SS, the Brembo brakes that came with the Cobalt SS, have absolutely no right being as good as they are. They really, really show their worth with this much horsepower, and they're still able to handle this, which is phenomenal. First gear is useless, but in a fun way. Second gear, roast the tires, but you're still moving forward, which is really bizarre. Typically with fast front wheel drive cars, uh, spinning is not winning, but this just keeps going somehow. Um, <laughs> this is not for the weak. Whoa, lots of torque steer. Third gear, man, it starts walking and you're like, I don't know where I'm going, but I guess I'm going along for the ride. I don't really have a choice right now. This thing is an absolute riot. I mean, it makes all the right noises. Hi, sir. Would you like to do a scavenger hunt of every divot and crevice in this road? The Cobalt SS is for you. And what's really cool is ZZP has taken this platform and really figured it out. I think that's the big problem with these cars is a lot of people just kind of throw parts at them and don't really know the secret sauce. ZZP knows the secret sauce with the Ecotech engine. I mean, it's, it's a Cobalt SS that's low paint with its cams. It's super weird to be around when you hear this thing loping. You're like, there is no way it's coming from that cobalt. <laughs> also, I've got like five thumbs up today, so that's always a good feeling. All right, ZZP 
Cobalt SS, also known as Snowbolt. 600 wheel horsepower and a Cobalt. <laughs> what did I think of it? Well, as a time attack car, this thing is an absolute monster. I had a really good time driving this. Sounds amazing. Very charismatic car. On that note, I upload on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. And I will see you guys next time. Take it easy. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.